I'm Bruce Grace, Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco, and today I want to talk to you about EBL clutch tools, microtorque tools, what the difference is, and why you would choose one over the other. Several commonalities make it difficult to decide which tool is right for your application if you don't know the specific functionalities of each system. For example, both are electric screwdrivers. Both are good for low torque applications with similar torque ranges. Both have vacuum pickup capability. Both have an awesome ergonomic friendly design. Both are capable of integration through I.O. to give OK signals and confirm batch counts. Confusing, right? That's why I want to break down each system and let you know what each one is capable of. Before I do, I've put together four key questions that you'll want to ask yourself about the application. Question number one, is the joint consistent? Are there variations such as hole diameter changes, friction changes from different screws, and changes in the joint material itself? Question number two, is the joint critical? Will the tools be assembling medical equipment that's made to save someone's life, or will you be fastening an electronic board into a children's toy? Question number three, Data collection and traceability. Is data collection desired or necessary for your application, or can your production process do without it? And the last question, question number four, investment. What kind of investment are you able to make? As with anything in life, higher functionality requires a higher cost. Now that we've laid out each of these questions, let's break down each system and then reflect back to them. This will help us determine which system is right for you. Let's start with the EBL screwdrivers. EBL screwdrivers are a very simple design. They operate with a brushless motor and a clutch shutoff system that is easily adjustable to your desired torque as long as it falls within the tool's torque range. The torque ranges on the tools vary from 0.5 to 4.5 newton meters. There are soft start, soft stop, and reporting models available. There's a 15% tolerance in the scatter of results. But that's joint dependent, so make sure whatever joint you're tightening on or verifying on is identical or similar to your application. And they're budget friendly with a lower cost and very easy to maintain. Now that we've talked about the EBL system, let's talk about the MicroTorque system and highlight the functionalities. MicroTorque screwdrivers are advanced in design. The system is made up of two different types of tools when considering accuracy. A current control model with a 7.5% tolerance for the scatter of results and a model with a transducer that offers a 5% tolerance for the scatter of results. The tools range from 1.2 to 250 centimeters. newton meters. The system meets industry 4.0 standards. There are configurable P-sets with up to 10 tightening steps for tool and tightening versatility. You can measure torque, angle, and clamping force. They're automation ready with the correct IAM, supporting field bus, IO, and open protocol. There's an intuitive controller with many menu selections. There's advanced tightening strategies that can handle variations in the joint consistency. There are configurable identifiers for batch and P-set selection. Intuitive ToolsTalk MicroTorque software that comes with the system to help you program and configure. And it's ToolsNet 8 compatible for error proofing and process improvement. These are just a few of the features that the MicroTorque system is capable of, but I'm sure you're beginning to see a pattern. Here at Atlas Copco, we strive for excellence, and we believe that recognizing diversity plays a big part in that. We know that there are applications in the marketplace that vary drastically when considering the four questions that I've listed. And that's why we're excited to offer two different product lines that meet you where you are in the production process. Let's revisit my questions and work through some scenarios. Question number one was joint consistency. The EBL tool is designed to drive a screw accurately and offers some different error proofing models that can assist you in your assembly process. However, as we mentioned before, this is joint dependent. That means that if you know that the joint material, the screw friction, or the hole diameter will not change, the EBL tool can be a great option for you. But if you're faced with unreliability in these areas, a MicroTorque system would definitely suit you better as it offers advanced tightening strategies that can help you overcome the challenges of joint inconsistency. Question number two, is the joint critical? I gave a broad example earlier that is pretty easy to follow. Are you producing equipment that is responsible for saving lives, or are you producing children's toys? Another example might be the difference between manufacturing airplane instruments that are critical for a safe flight and manufacturing electronic components of a vacuum cleaner. Here at Atlas Copco, we always strive for quality, but as mentioned, we recognize the diversity in the marketplace and we know that some applications require higher accuracy, quality, and precision than others. So if you're making products that human lives depend on, I think it's clear now that a microtorque system is your solution. 
But if you're making toys, an EBL is a great way to increase quality without breaking the bank. And if you're somewhere in between, I hope this presentation helps you decide what matters most to you and what product you would benefit from the most. Question number three was data collection and traceability. This question can tie into the previous question, as an application that is more critical can require more traceability. It can also be a preference of whether or not you would like to collect data and maintain traceability in your assembly process. If you need data collection and traceability, the MicroTorque system is the way to go. If your process doesn't need it and you prefer not to have it, an EBL system can be a great solution for you. Question number four was investment. Remember, the lower cost EBL product line can still provide accurate results with outstanding quality to improve your assembly process. However, if you need some of the higher functionalities of the MicroTorque system, you'll have to make a greater investment. Here's a comparison chart for reference. You can see some of the features we mentioned clearly laid out between the two products. I hope this video has helped you understand the main differences between the EBL clutch screwdrivers and the MicroTorque electric screwdrivers and why you would choose one over the other. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to your Atlas Copco representative. Thanks for watching.